Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is baked ice cream. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is three eggs, cream of tartar, salt, biscuits, parchment paper, vanilla extract, ice cream, an oven, baking trays, a whisk, and a bowl. First, you need to leave three eggs out to get to be room temperature, which I've done. And then we're going to empty it out and just use the egg whites. So you want three egg whites and do not use the yolks. Once you get those, uh, then we'll go on to the next step. Uh, as I get one egg there, and I'm going to go two, and then I'll do one more. And we're going the third egg here on the egg whites, and then we're all ready to go. So the next step is a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar sauce. Um, so a quarter teaspoon of that. And we're gonna put it inside the bowl uh, with the three egg whites. So make sure you got the quarter um, teaspoon there and put that in. And then next we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of regular salt. So um, go ahead and put a quarter teaspoon of salt in uh, the same bowl. Um, so we'll get that going. And once we get the salt ready, and then we're gonna finish off um, with a uh, a uh, half teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I get my vanilla extract and put a half teaspoon of vanilla extract in there. And then we're going to uh, mix that all up. And here we go, get that in. And now uh, we're going to whisk or mix uh, until it's um, completely can stand up on its own. So this took a little while but uh, completely uh, keep stirring it and uh, whisking it up until that all stands up on its own and you'll see when it does at the end and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll come back in just a second and you can see it's already uh, getting a little bit thicker here and then we'll come back one more time. And here we go, um, it's standing up just like that on its own. So we did that part right and now we're ready to move on uh, to the next piece of it. Now we're going to use uh, super fine sugar. So one cup of super fine sugar. And uh, once we get to one cup, we're going to put one tablespoon in at a time. So once we get that, we'll do uh, slowly put in one tablespoon and stir each time. And I'll show you how we're doing that. So we're going to sprinkle our fine sugar at one tablespoon at a time on the meringue. Um, kind of just spread it out. And then we're going to stir each time until the one cup of fine sugar is gone. So we'll give it a stir, and once we get that uh, you know, in, then we're gonna add another tablespoon until we're completely done with the one cup of uh, sugar. And then I will come back and uh, when I get all that mixed in, um, and I'll check back with you. And here we are, um, and we're all done now. So we got the sugar all done. Now we're gonna lay down some parchment paper on a baking tray, so I cut that out, uh, so it sits right there. And then we're taking our, it says a biscuit, but I don't have biscuits, so I am uh, improvising by uh, putting um, a graham cracker and some regular uh, club crackers down there. So uh, we're going to take a small scoop of ice cream. Uh, we're going to make sure ice cream doesn't touch the edges of the biscuit. So just a small little scoop. Uh, you probably can't use your normal ice cream scoop and uh, kind of form it in there so it... Uh, will stay right on the cracker. You don't want it to touch the edges. And then um, once we get that, we'll move on to the next step. N now we got the ice cream on all the biscuits slash crackers. Now we're gonna spoon the meringue mixture over the ice cream. So make sure that the ice cream is completely covered with the meringue. So you might have to go a couple different times, but we cannot have any of the ice cream um, exposed in any way from the bottom of the cracker or not the bottom, but on the sides uh, to the top. So we're gonna make sure that's completely covered in all directions. And so we'll spin it around to make sure there's no little tiny gaps um, sitting in there. Um, and once we get all this covered, now we're gonna put it in the oven after that. So I will check back in just a second. All right, so once we can see that some of the um, ice cream is still showing on, on the, the biscuit slash crackers. So we're gonna make sure we completely cover it up we don't want any gaps. Any gaps will uh, make it so this experiment will not work. So make sure you co completely cover the ice cream up with all the meringue. Um, and once we get that, and then we'll check back. And 
So go ahead and put the tray, baking tray on the bottom shelf of your oven. I've already preheated my oven at 230 degrees Fahrenheit, 110 Celsius. Um, and then uh, we're gonna set it for one hour. But what we wanna do is we wanna check it every 10 minutes to make sure the meringue doesn't get brown. So here we are, an hour is up, and we're about to pull them out to see if it worked. Pulling it out to make sure it uh, see what it looks like. It looks like uh, a good three of them worked. Um, as you can see, I probably the smaller uh, crackers didn't get covered enough, and so they spilt out. And one of the bigger ones did too. So we know those aren't going to work. But there's um, the one on the top left, and the middle, and the top right, right there. Um, you can see the meringue is really solid, really hard, and. Um, uh, even though that one's hard, it did leak out, so it probably didn't What's happening work. here is the warm oven cooks a meringue, and, but the ice cream doesn't melt. The cream of tartar is an acid, so it becomes moist and it releases the carbon dioxide. This helps the meringue. When the egg whites are beaten, it makes a small air spaces. Both the air and the carbon dioxide trapped in the beaded egg whites act as an insulator. As the sugar cooks, it hardens. It also acts as an insulator. The insulation has small air uh, spaces trapped in it. These slow the movement of the heat or the cold. When the meringue is spread over the ice cream, the ice cream is insulated. The heat of the oven can't get in during the baking. The insulation lets the meringue cook without melting the ice cream. As you can see here, a very hard shell. There's a little bit of uh, uh, soft on the inside there. And then you can see the ice cream itself. It did melt a little bit but it's still there, it did not melt all the way, and you have the oven on for over an hour, which is pretty impressive. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.